Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have uh, today, the Wednesday, uh, 7th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can download the app by the www.tradesignal.com, or you can certainly download it from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's move on to uh, market stats then, folks. Okay, um, we have had a recovery of some sorts uh, overnight in the US session. So a very impressive move there, folks, okay, in terms of U.S. markets. Uh, in terms of um, the Asian markets overnight, somewhat mixed. You've had the Hang Seng and the Shanghai down, but the Nikkei certainly managed to hold on to gains, although after hours it has started to slide, so just bear that in mind. Can we uh, continue to stabilize here? That's a good question. The market obviously has been afraid of uh, the inflation fears that have obviously emanated since Friday in terms of wage growth in America, and therefore obviously turning the tap off but again a lot of the writing was on the wall given mr trump's obviously trade protectionism and his uh, memo etc etc I mean, there's a lot of factors at play uh, in terms of the actual market going down uh, but i didn't expect uh, such a sudden and sharp shock okay so that certainly was a uh, surprise to me as well okay but nevertheless that's the market does what it wants to do when it wants to do and we just have to react and adjust accordingly Okay, in terms of um, the uh, European equities, let's quickly go through the uh, fundamentals for the day. Uh, bullish news this morning in terms of German um, coalition potentially being agreed. That certainly is uh, strong, uh, certainly is uh, bullish for risk today. Okay, in terms of uh, German data this morning, coming in slightly weaker in terms of industrial production. Uh, French export data as well, uh, coming in slightly better. Uh, imports better as well. In terms of current, uh, current account, Slight improvement there from what I can see. So again, that should certainly be positive for the French economy or French CAC. In terms of uh, housing stats from the UK, certainly coming in weaker. Again, that will certainly drag on the FTSE to a large extent. Uh, European, or should we say Italian retail sales numbers has come out slightly better than expected. We have Mr. Loch, uh, Lotten Slager's uh, speech later on. So that'll be interesting to see what he has to say with regards to the Fed, uh, or should we say the ECB. Uh, Fed Dudley will be speaking. So again, Evans will be speaking as well. So watch out for the dollar and the movements there. RBNZ, if you are trading Kiwi, watch out later on tonight with regards to the uh, the actual central bank statement there. We have Mr. Williams. So we have three Fed speakers speaking today. So again, I'll watch out for some volatility on the US dollar there. Again, like I said, looking to stabilize in um, stabilize in, in Asia, stabilize in the US, and therefore looking to stabilize in Europe. In terms of uh, technicals, let's just quickly go to the German DAX here. The German DAX certainly has closed all the gaps below. I mean, it's been one hell of a sell-off. Very, very impressive, to say the least. Okay, from my perspective, now looking to potentially bounce. The weekly chart certainly is coming into support as well. As you can see, 75% support was held, and therefore it didn't obviously subsequently bounce. So, interesting scenario. Do we hold that double top? That's the question. Okay, do we hold that double top? From my perspective, I expect the German DAX to continue higher. Okay, moving on to the... Uh 60 minute chart okay so from my perspective it's just consolidation now I'm looking for that bull flag okay so i'll be positioned for that bull flag that's basically what i'll be expecting 10 minute chart you've got gap fill below at 12 at 390 support is seen at 12 360 so again looking for that support if 12 360 were to go then i'd be concerned but certainly not expecting that looking for gap fill to close at 12 6 or 12 700 or above in terms of the rest of the indices let's just go through them French CAC, French CAC bouncing off gap fill, so very impressive there. Okay, HNS formation obviously has been negated now. Again, like I said, I didn't expect such a, a powerful and vicious sell off, so certainly has surprised me. Again, we've held gap fill, bounced off there, 5115. Okay, so again, looking to bounce now. You have two gaps to fill. You've got gap fill here, you've got gap fill here, you've got gap fill here. That gap fill was closed. Okay, so that's basically where we are in terms of the market. Now, how, how much do we retrace? That's the question. So you've Take a, bit, a little bit high, okay. So, again, looking for uh, resistance above French CAC, looking for resistance around the 5270 5285 region. That's basically what I'll be, I'd be looking for, okay, in terms of the next move. Okay, that certainly is the status quo there in terms of FTSE 100. Let's move on to there. FTSE certainly has an exceptionally weak, given the fact that we've got dimwit and uh, a moronic government at the moment, absolute imbeciles. I mean. This is a woman who holds on to power by buying out the uh, the Irish uh, vote. I mean, it's just pathetic. The whole thing is 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 just stupid. I mean, it's a one woman who's trying to cling on to power, uh, autocratic, greedy, power-hungry individual. And really, if she had any honour or any respect, she'd step aside and allow somebody else to obviously uh, take charge. The latest headline at the moment is just so pathetic. It's not even worth reading, really. I mean, it's a shame for the UK, really, to be honest with you. If you're a UK citizen, you should, you should be very ashamed 
I certainly am, in the sense that uh, there's no um, potential certainty offered to businesses. I mean, one of the key things that you learn in any uh, business economics or any economics degree or even business, etc., is that certainty is what every uh, investment uh, opportunity requires. And if the government can't provide certainty and actually attempts to then uh, promote uncertainty and actually brag about uncertainty as, as some sort of uh, political gimmick or it's just pathetic the whole thing is just ridiculous I mean I don't know what can I say it's just from my perspective I just think we need a revolution in thinking really from my perspective but it is what it is okay folks we just have to react accordingly that's all we can do as traders and that's what we're trying our best to do let's just see let's just hope this uh, stupid idiotic government Certainly, is um, it has see some light. It makes see some sense. Uh, it didn't have any common sense from the start, to be honest with you. I mean, when you're attempting to lie uh, to the UK people about Brexit, and then, and then even the uh, the leader herself, I mean, she she didn't believe in Brexit either. So how can you? I mean, the whole thing is just baffles me. Okay, I nevertheless, um, I mean, it was one of a emotional vote as opposed to a logical, rational vote. That's what a lot of people have told me. A lot of academics, a lot of intelligent people that I follow. I've all said it was more of an emotional vote as opposed to a logical, rational vote. So that's something certainly to take into consideration. Now, if it's a vote based on racism, xenophobia, you're never going to succeed that way, are you? Any successful society, Istanbul, uh, the Ottoman Empire ruled for 600 years. Istanbul was the most metropolitan city in the world at the time. And why was it successful? Because it had Jews, Christians, or Austrians, uh, all living together. Okay, people of all walks of life, all walks of faith, different cultures. And that's what obviously creates success. Now, if you start closing your borders like Mr. Trump and you fail to embrace diversity, then you'll get a brain drain and everything else follows after that. And therefore, you're looking at weak economic growth and you see racism and then you see radicals and extremists taking over and there's no logic left anymore. There's no rationality left anymore. It's just a, a self-defeating government. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Okay, so uh, that's the status quo, folks. That's the status quo. Okay then, so we're moving on to the French CAC here. So again, stabilizing, looking to potentially bounce, looking to target gap, fill above. Okay, and then the French CAC. To daily chart, obviously, is into support as well. So looking to move higher. 60-minute chart, ball flag, looking to break higher. So that's my interpretation there. Okay, FTSE as well. Uh, again, FTSE moving lower lows, lower highs. Certainly stabilizing here. Daily chart certainly is stabilizing into support as well. 60-minute chart, from my perspective, again, you've got double bottom. So let's see how that plays out. And 10 minute chart again, you're building a base here. Base is certainly being built around the 7150 zone. You've got this bullish engulfing candle here, and now we're looking to potentially move higher. So, again, looking to target that upper range around the 7260 zone above. Okay, so again, bias certainly remains bullish from my perspective. Looking for the FTSE to break out on this bull flag fund scenario. Okay, so that's the status quo, folks. Let's uh, see how the market unfolds. Asian market certainly did slide toward the end of the day. A lot of that bearish news certainly is baked into the cake. Let's see how the market certainly plays out. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus there and visit TradeSignal for the leading providers. Goodbye.